Hey guys, so I'm here with another video. Uh, first of all, thank you all uh, who have been subscribing to the channel, who have been liking my videos, leaving comments. Uh, as I promise, I always reply to my comments, you know that already, I think. So uh, feel free to write whatever you feel like writing and I'm definitely gonna reply to them. I read every single comment, I reply to every single one of them, all right? So uh, in this one, of course, when I read these comments, there are like particular ones that uh, I feel like it's worth talking about a little bit more. And one of these was this particular one. Uh, Anthony said that I have good genetics basically uh, for having a good skin elasticity, right? So uh, I would like to talk about it because I feel like this is something really important and it's not kind of like something that's often talked about and in some way kind of like overlooked. Okay, so uh, we've seen like a lot of body transformation videos, right? Like I'm sure you've seen some others as well, but you know, the ones that mainly gain our attention are the ones like extreme, extreme ones, right? Maybe like people who are extremely morbid obese, it's like, you know, three, 400 pounds and like, you know, going down to uh, normal body weight. So uh, for these people, uh, because their health is the main concern at that point. When you are like that obese, health is priority. You don't care about anything else. It's basically paramount. So you don't care about like having excess skin and all that kind of stuff, right? You try to lose the weight immediately because you know, uh, no one can guarantee what's gonna happen at any time, at any point. So uh, for these people, yes, they try to get them to a healthier weight as soon as possible while sacrificing skin elasticity. But when it comes to like people um, who have been in my situation, right? So I've been obese, but uh, I wasn't like insanely obese, okay? So here I'm gonna actually show you a video. Uh, you can literally see that, you know, uh, my, my belly there, it's like all fat, okay? So what happens is that of course, when you get fat, um, well, for carrying all that tissue, you basically have your skin basically descended, right? It's stretched out. And after, when you start losing the weight, of course, the tissue goes away, the fat goes away, but your skin is still there, right? So it needs time to adjust. Um, one of the things that I've noticed, so uh, if you watch my previous videos, uh, actually, you can you can watch this one here. Uh, what I talk about, like how I did the transformation. I started training when I was 17. Uh, what I didn't tell you about is that when I was 17, the main reason I started training was because I had a morbid lobby's friend. So we were both 17, my friend was about like 300 pounds, okay? And because I was so concerned and his family was so concerned, they basically kind of encouraged me to help him to get to the gym and start helping him lose weight. And it became more like an activity for both of us. So we start going to the gym this way, okay? So this is how I actually started training in the first place. And of course, my friend at the time, he was really obese and actually the doctors were also really concerned about his health. Uh, they were uh, having, because his liver was like, he had like excess fat in his liver and like his other internal organs. So the doctors were also really concerned and they were asking him to lose the weight as soon as possible. Um, so he ended up with like some excess skin. And what I'm gonna be telling you here, you've seen my videos. Yes, Anthony also mentioned that I have good skin elasticity. So uh, it might be the case. So I did body transformation myself like more than once. This is not the first time I told you in my previous video, I did it back when I was 21, right? So uh, one thing that I pay attention after that with my friend, I've seen how it happens. And after that with my clients in the past, right? I have a one strict rule when it comes to any kind of a body transformation. If it is for, well, basically for like aesthetics or like for being a little bit healthier or having a better physique and so on, okay? I'm not talking about like those people who are like three, 400, 500 pounds, okay? So if you are in like a situation like me where you have like, you know, maybe 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 50 pounds, 70, 80, even 100 pounds extra, okay? You can follow this kind of method and this is kind of like one of my rules which is i try to maintain my weight loss about 10 pounds a month so why i have this 10 pound number based on my own experience and from the people i've seen 10 pounds kind of especially when it's a long term 
uh, weight loss, okay? So when you're making a long-term weight loss, like I did for six months, continuous weight loss, I've noticed that anything kind of like above maybe 15 pounds is gonna make you end up with like excess skin, okay? And I don't think anybody anybody wants that, okay? Yes, some people are more concerned about their health, they don't care about like skin elasticity, then that's completely fine, you can, you know, have your excess skin, that's also completely fine. Maybe you're gonna have a surgery after to remove that skin, that's also completely your choice. Uh, I don't mind, but I'm here giving people an advice to lose the weight healthier in a way that you are not gonna end up with like excess skin, okay? So, uh, also one of the problems on the internet is that a lot of people lie about how much weight they lose, okay? Like there are really popular people who completely lie about how much weight they lost in uh, how much of a time. And actually I might make a video in the future for, for one of those because it's like kind of crazy. The guy talks about, uh, I like the person by the way, like I don't want to name any names now, but like they talk about like how they lost 100 pounds in five months with zero ex like excess skin, like it's impossible, okay? So if you, I, I hate this kind of stuff because it kind of makes people think, I used to be one of those people, you understand? Back when I was like, you know, when I didn't know anything, I used to believe this kind of stuff when I saw it on the internet and I absolutely hated this. Like I absolutely hate it now actually because you know, it's very hard to understand like um, when as a person, when you watch this kind of a video on YouTube, okay, or when you see this kind of stuff online, you want to believe what they're talking about and you assume that they are not lying and then you try to imitate what they're doing and you end up with bad results. Like in the past, it happened to me as well. My first body transformation, actually, I went down to, I even remember like my weight. I went down to 65 kilos. And the way I ended up after the body transformation, I was like, how is this even possible? You know, I was looking at the videos that I've seen. Uh, it was like really long time ago. I don't think there were like even videos at the time. They, they had like some pictures of the guy. Um, when I saw these pictures, I was like, how did this guy turn into this in like three months and I ended up like this when I followed everything they said to the T. So it didn't make sense to me. Actually, that's what made me get my uh, personal training certificate and all that kind of stuff when I started to learn this stuff and like start to read the science and all that kind of things, okay? So uh, I absolutely hate this kind of stuff. So this is why I make these videos actually. And that's why I reply to your comments. That's why, you know, I make these videos explaining you a lot of things. Um, so my advice to people who are watching this video, when it comes to, if you're planning on a body transformation on a, or a weight loss or anything, try to keep it under control, lose it healthily. Okay. Moderately. You don't have to go crazy if you don't need to for health reasons. Okay. Uh, try to keep it at about maximum. I would say like at about like 10 pounds a month, if you don't want to end up with like excess skin. Okay. Anything above that, I think if it goes for continuously for a few months, right? Let's say you lost like 15 pounds for like five months. I think that you're most likely going to end up with like excess skin. Okay. So my advice, just, you know, uh, take a moderate approach, lose it slowly, steadily, let your body adapt to the changes, let your skin adapt to the changes and you don't end up with excess skin. And like once you actually lose the weight and when you look at the mirror, you actually enjoy what you're seeing. Okay, so uh, this is gonna be it for the video. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment below. If you liked the video, give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel, all right? So I'll see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.